Hey everyone, and welcome to Academy of Mine. Today, we're gonna to learn how to upload and use PDFs in your LMS. Creating PDF modules and using them in your training programs are a great starting point to creating effective on-demand courses. And using Academy of Mine, you can allow students to download PDFs, track completion on these PDFs, and more. Worksheets have been used to help instructors teach and train for a long time. Using PDFs in your online courses is just a way to do something similar digitally. And since PDFs use both images and text, they do a great job of providing a well-rounded learning and training experience for the users engaging with them. Let's face it though, PDFs are not reinventing the wheel in e-learning. However, when you combine them with different types of content like video, score modules, and multiple choice quizzes, then you can create very immersive training programs for your employees, customers, and partners. All right, so let's get started with these PDFs. So in the admin dashboard, we're gonna go to courses and then click PDFs. Let's name this sample PDF, and then we're going to go over here and click browse media and upload the PDF file that we're gonna use in this module. Of course, if you already have PDFs uploaded in the media library, maybe that you're using in other modules or courses, then you can just add those from here instead of having to upload them from your computer or a separate hard drive. After the upload is complete, let's write a description. Descriptions are not required, but if filled in, your message will be displayed to students while viewing this module in the course. Now that that's complete, let's toggle this track completion on so that students are required to view all pages of the PDF document to complete this module. Now, if you want to make this PDF downloadable to users, then you have to go ahead and toggle this allow downloads slider on. Next, let's talk about this show sidebar button. So this is what a PDF with a bunch of different pages looks like when show sidebar is off. And if we turn show sidebar on, this is what the PDF looks like from the user's perspective. The sidebar shows previous and upcoming pages for a module. And coming back to the admin's point of view, lastly, let's just talk about this default zoom. The default zoom just chooses how zoomed in a PDF is going to be by default when a student clicks on a module. So these, the zoom is still going to be adjustable by students, but sometimes, you know, with e-learning PDFs and instructional materials coming from a bunch of different places, some of the sizes and zooming can be a bit funky. So sometimes you want to set these defaults at specific numbers for the ideal viewing experience. All right, so let's click update module to save this. Then let's go back to courses, all courses, and actually put this module inside of whichever course we want this to be used in. And then I'll show you what it looks like from a student's point of view coming into the course in one second. So yeah, inside of here, all you have to do is type sample PDF because that's what we named the PDF we were just working on. And then scroll up here and click update course. Logging in as a student, you can see now we have a PDF module inside of the course. And of course, here the student can download the PDF. And since we have track completion turned on, the student has to go through all of these pages for his progress to be recorded as completing this module. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm Jonathan Reed, a digital marketer at Academy of Mine, and I'll see you guys next time.